the guy easily unattractive. When he doesn't have a fresh haircut, when he doesn't have style, when he looks like a frog. Toxic. What's your advice to all the men? If you want her to be your girlfriend, you treat her with respect. You treat her like you treat your mom. How much should the guy pay for the engagement ring? <laughs> he needs to pay again. 500. He gets paid every year. 500. He saves that towards the ring. If he doesn't, he's got to get a no. She belongs to the streets. Of course, you don't want to deal with a guy that is ugly. And that sounds funny to me. When she herself is just so beautiful. <laughs> Guys, welcome back to the channel again. In today's video, we'll be looking at delusional married women getting checked on camera. And so I have some rules when it comes to cheating. If you're gonna cheat, be discreet. I don't want to know about it. You better not embarrass me. You okay. better not father kids. Don't bring any STDs. I don't want to know about it. Okay. If I know about it, that's going to cause problems. Okay. The thing I want to so, emphasize though is, like I said, I better not find out about it. I don't want chicks in my DMs. I don't want to know. Okay. For me, ignorance is bliss. So I'm, I'm curious. I'm not let promoting it. I'm not promoting no, no, it. I, I live in reality though. But but let me ask you something. Reality. When you say there's going to be problems, you're dating a guy who's worth fifty million dollars. What problems are you going to give him? He's going to say goodbye next. The what problem? What you yeah. said? If I find out, you said <laughs> if true. I find out, there's going to be a problem. What, what problem are you going to give well, a man worth fifty million dollars? The problem is it's going to create emotional um, issues in the relationship. Okay, so, and then you get too emotional, and he's like, but he's worth fifty million dollars. What problems are you going to cause him? Is my question. Men question. make money like that to tell women to fuck off. That pisses absolutely, them off. Right. That, that absolutely. Them. Like they literally Ain't tell them to fuck off. That. that is one thing most married women fail to get. When a man has money, he's powerful and he can choose not to deal with your bullshit. But when he's broke, that's when you can sit down and say, if he cheats, there's going to be a problem. And there's really going to be a problem. But for a guy that is rich, the only time there can be a problem is when he's married to you. But dating, no. He'll let you keep pushing it. That's just what it is. But most of them, they don't know. They think that they're always in control and they can do whatever they want to do. Let's keep going. You guys are all just like really misogynistic. How do you define misogyny? I don't know. I don't like this. How do you... I'm just asking how you define misogyny. Are you okay? Like, do you want... You, like, you want to go as in leave? Is it because I asked how you define misogyny? Is that the... <laughs> No, no, I'd, I'd like to go home if Cause, that's allowed. Because I asked about how you define misogyny. This is what they do. They just go around throwing words around that they don't even know the meaning. And see, he asked her the meaning of misogyny and she started crying. Had even that you and this lady in the room and she started crying and she called the police and said, you've done this and this and that to her. They are most likely gonna believe it. This is how most female operate. Guys, when you are dealing with women, you gotta be very, very careful. They are very different from men. The way they operate is just unbelievable. Let's keep going. There's plenty of women that are 34, right? That are as attractive as you are. And there's plenty of women that are younger than you that are more attractive than you are, especially in Miami. He's only 3% of the population. If he has options, who is he gonna go with? I don't care. That's the problem. You don't I care. I, I, I how are you going to find a man that is in the 3% if you don't care? Mm. I'm not trying to find a man, first of all. You want an exceptional man. Wouldn't it be fair to say that you have to put exceptional effort to find an exceptional man? I'm not putting any efforts That's to... That's the problem. <laughs> and that right there is the Easy. problem. Why is it a problem? Because women think they're entitled to a top 3% man without putting work in, and then they wonder why that guy doesn't show up. Who told you I'm looking for a guy? Oh, you're not. No. So it's you'll like be single forever. <laughs> yep. You I know, would be. Streets. I mean, I would. I'd, I would rather be single forever than compromise who I am to be with a guy. <laughs> she said, "Compromise who she is for a guy," and at the end of the day, maybe you end up checking and finding out that she's just an OnlyFans model. So, who are you? Who is? I mean, what are you compromising? He's just saving you from the street. But like he said. They're wasting their entitled to this man and they don't got to put in any type of effort. Let's keep going. I mean, I would make the argument that you can also have conscription for support roles. So women should be conscripted too. But you don't see feminists in the street fighting for equalization of military conscription. Mm -hmm. 
Actually, they fight against it. Actually, a lot of feminist organizations will fight against equality if said equality comes to the detriment of women. I don't think feminism is about equality. Feminists will fight for equality only if women benefit from said equality. Military conscription, custody things, feminist organizations will push against it. Reformation of alimony laws, feminist organizations push against it. In Florida, there was a law to equalize custody of children. They campaigned against the bill to equalize shared custody. Feminists will fight against equality if that equality could in some way conceivably come to the detriment of women. If you're a guy and you really think that feminist movement is about equality then you, you stupid i'm not going to say you delusional you stupid just pay attention to the trans branches name that is about equality right so if you are against those things then it means you are not about equality you are about superiority women we just want to be superior to men and which in reality cannot happen no matter how advanced technology will be women cannot be superior to men and even technology being advanced is because of men being superior to women, all these things are done by men, so it's just not gonna happen. Let's keep going. Ask you this, you looking for a $100,000 wedding? Yes. Yes. Why? I have high standards and I feel like I shouldn't lower them just because. I have high standards too. I went to a justice of the peace. Okay. <laughs> Married 32 years. The biggest weddings are the shortest marriages, I swear. You know, Kim Kardashian, that dude, 72 days. Took her longer to pick out the dress than it did to be married to her. You know what I mean? You look at, that's just a party. You have that party with, like on your 25th wedding anniversary, then you could spend that kind of money. $100,000, you're never gonna get married, honey. You, you know what I'm saying? He's yeah. 20, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That, that's the wrong goal. The goal is to have him like for 40 years, yeah. not to have one party. Right. I honestly don't have a problem with female or the woman wanting $100,000 wedding. I don't have a problem with it. At the end of the day, it's gonna be paid by the man. So if you are the man and she's saying something like that and you are against it and you cannot just leave her to be moving along because this lady standing here, let's keep it real, I'm not trying to be an asshole. This is not a supermodel and she's making a demand of getting a wedding that is worth $100,000 for real. Come on, we, we gotta be serious. I think it doesn't matter what your body count is. I think it's pretty like immature. What's your body count? <laughs> um, I'm not sure. Give us a range, 100 plus? No. I've had you can sex be with honest. five guys in the last year. You said you've had sex with five guys in the past year. Yeah, like, I don't, like, my body count isn't that high. But even if it were, like, I don't think that has anything to do with my self-worth. Not, I mean, no, but it's a criteria with which a man may want to disqualify you if you have a high body count or you're promiscuous. Then we were never meant to be, and I'll just go find somebody else. Fair enough. But a lot of men are, you are, well... A lot of men are going to have an issue with it. Most men are going to be like, she's hot, she's successful, she does well with her life. Like Men don't really care good. if you're successful. I'm 36, and I'm telling you, they don't care if you're successful. They Promise sound like you. the wrong type of man, then. <sighs> okay. As usual, delusional. A man that is not caring about her resources was not meant for her. Honestly, women always think that there are certain men that are out there that are just meant to be with them, no? There is no single man that is out there that is meant to be with you. No, we don't have something like that. You have to go out there and work and get a man to marry you. In the statement she made, body count should not matter. It's just, this, this is just a typical statement of her. Oh, why should a body count not matter? Why are you not feeling okay? Feel it like just, why didn't she just mention her body count straight up? Since it doesn't matter. They know deep down, even being a hoe. Three or four, they know deep down that it matters a lot. She put out, mm -hmm, and she's also just lost her job, and she is five foot three and 180 pounds. I said, I said to her, babe, we're gonna look at the BMI chart. Beach you ball. need to be losing <laughs> 60 pounds in the next 12 months if you want this kind of man, as an anecdotal guy, to wife you, right? Otherwise, he's not gonna take you seriously. You are the easy chick, and that is the reality. The so oh, I'm straightforward help. that way, but that's part of you either self-improve or you lower your expectations. That's the, those are the but, but here's the problem. It took a professional matchmaker to tell her <laughs> you need to self-improve. <laughs> but here's the thing. This is why women are delusional. It, you had to, she had to get a professional to tell her that she's fat. Yes. You want to know how men know that they're fat or they're losers? They just go outside. Hey, <laughs> you're a fat slob. Girls don't want to talk to you. You don't get calls returned. People don't respond, etc. Men get real time 
uh, reflection of where they stand in the sexual marketplace. Women don't. Well, and we're That's actually getting, getting the opposite. We're getting the opposite because we yeah. have a society that panders to women yeah. and tells yeah. them, yeah. you you don't have to change a damn thing mm. and you can get something you've never gotten before. Or I would say the reason why most women don't recognize these things or don't realize these things is the fact that no matter how she looks, she's going to get so many dicks that are willing to fuck her. Men will almost fuck everything. Like, it's just what it is. So, she's fat and she's still able to get any kind of a man to fuck her, she automatically think that, okay, because I can get a man to fuck me, means I can also get a man to marry me, so they don't need to self-improve. As for guys, we have to be in our best version to be able to attract even a single person in fact. But for females, they control sex, so she can just be as fat as possible. Like the first lady that I just said, she don't want to date an ugly guy, being almost maybe 400 pounds or 500 pounds. I mean, if that is beauty, then I, I, I mean, I can't, I can't, I don't know what to say. Guys, that brings us to the end of today's video. Thanks for watching. And as usual, for more of such content, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to share with your friends for males that need this type of content. Just like that, we out and peace.